Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I will be reading an Arlequino accessoire by me. So let's get into it. The sound of soft leather boots against the polished floor echoed faintly in the dimly lit room. Arlequino had just returned from a mission, her usual stoic expression unwavering as she shrugged off her coat. You sat curled on the edge of the bed, your arms hugging your knees tightly against your chest. And she noticed immediately. Of course she did. She always noticed everything. And her sharp gaze lingered on you. And she tilted her head a little bit. You're quiet. What's wrong? She said. Her voice even. But you could tell she was concerned. And you hesitated. Showing on the inside of your cheek. It's nothing really. He replied quickly, but she could tell that you were not really saying the truth. Arlequina crossed the room in a few quick strides, her presence commanding, but not overbearing. She knelt in front of you, her hands resting lightly on your knees. Don't lie to me. You're clearly upset. She said softly, her eyes searching yours. And you immediately looked away, his throat tightening. It's stupid. It's really stupid, Arlequino, like, you know, he said in a trembling voice. And her grip tightened slightly. Not enough to hurt, but enough to remind you that she was not going to let this go. If it's upsetting you, it is not stupid. Talk to me. You exhaled shakily finally meeting her gaze. I just... I hate my thighs. I was looking in the mirror, and I feel like they're too big. And I feel like they ruin everything I wear. It's the reason why I feel like nothing really looks good on me. Arlequina blinked, clearly not expecting that answer. She sat back slightly, regarding you with an unreadable expression. Then to your surprise, she let out a soft chuckle. You hate your thighs? She repeated, as if testing the words. And you flushed, feeling even more embarrassed now. She was chuckling. I told you it was stupid. You muttered, trying to pull your knees away from her. But her hand stopped you. It's not stupid. She said, her voice gentler now. She ran her gloved hands down your thighs. Her touch deliberate and steady. These thighs, she tapped lightly against them, are strong. They carry you and keep you grounded. And they're also a part of your body. And I did not want to hear you speak out of them again. Not to mention, they are the reason that I have you fight close-ranged combat. Your eyes widened a little bit, and you found yourself smiling. She wasn't the best at reassuring people, but yet, you could tell she meant those words. And you wanted someone to say something genuine. That's all you really needed. She leaned closer, her crimson eyes softening as she cupped your face in her hands. You're beautiful, every part of you, and I'll remind you every single day if I have to. Your heart clenched at the sincerity in her tone. I'm sorry, he said softly. There is nothing to apologize for. But next time you feel like this, you tell me. Do not just sit there and wallow in your own misery. That's not what I taught you, is it? He smiled a little bit more, nodding. It's not what you taught me at all. Well, at least you know that. Now we're going to eat dinner, and you're not going to think about this anymore. Alright? And if it pops up on your mind again... You know what to do. 
Are you gonna eat right now? Are you sure? Yes, I'm quite certain. Besides, Linny was the one who cooked today. You know how good his cooking is. I'm quite certain you don't want to miss out. He chuckled, nodding. Well, I suppose I don't. He's quite talented, for sure. Well, I'm glad you know. Arlequina smiled faintly. Prisoner kissed your forehead. Now, no more of this nonsense. We have dinner to eat, and I won't have you sulking through it. She said, standing up and pulling you to your feet. And you laughed lightly, feeling a little lighter, as you followed her lead. In her own way, Arlequina always knew how to make you feel whole again. You were always tired, struggling on your own, and you were certainly too afraid to bother her. You didn't know if that would be a ride. She was not the best with emotions, and she certainly was not adept with them. And you did not blame her for that. But the fact that she didn't call you silly, and instead tried to understand what you were going through... It was more than you ever imagined. You felt lucky to have her. To have someone who would care so much for you. Even if she was not the best at showing at all times. At least right now. She knew what was going on. Even if you were embarrassed. And scared about her knowing. At the very least you know now. That she will have your back at all times. And after you ate dinner. She sat with you which was not something she usually did. Mostly, after coming back from a meeting, she would just go to her office and see any paperwork she had. But, perhaps, she saw how much you were worried, how you were in such a terrible space, and decided it was worth it to waste one day of work and spend it with you. You were well worth that. And even more. And if she had to learn how to show you. Then so be it. No matter how difficult. Or how long it takes. It's worth it. If it brings a smile to your face in the end. <laughs>